All right. so. My pussy bow is intact. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's called. Really? Everyone, it is, it is right? Thank yeah, you. Yeah. Thank you. Everyone thinks I'm like just a pervert. <laughs> well, <laughs> She's what? We never what? said you were just a pervert. <laughs> I'm so much more. <laughs> so, can you guys talk about, hi, by the way, <laughs> can you talk about the process of writing this? Because this is very different than, you know, a television script or even a novel or a yeah. comic. You know, it's an audio drama and it's a different medium. Um, what was that like? What was your approach? I mean, you want to... We, we were really lucky, actually, because years ago we did a, uh, an online animated series at the BBC called Ghosts of Albion that we wrote together and Amber directed. And, but Anthony um, Daniels is it. <laughs> <laughs> and um, and it, was, uh, it was great. It was a great experience. Um, but while we were doing that, we found out partway through the process that they were also going to want to play it on BBC Radio. And that was a trial by fire for us to even go back and look through the scripts we'd already written. Be like, what would the experience of this be if you're only listening to it? So we had that sort of background already yeah. to be able to kind of get into it. But it was great. It was really fun. No, we were really, really lucky. Our The, the people we were working with at Audible, Lydia and Meg, they're big fans, but they're also they know the audio world and so we would veer maybe a little too much to, to sort of like you needed more context and Lydia would be like no 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 we have to be able to hear it you need to let us know what's actually happening in an auditory way versus in a visual I know it looks on the script like it's going to be easy um, and then the other I think really hard part is we have Leia De Leon Hayes who's incredible and she is our entree into this world and she you know not a fan of the info dump and it's always boring but when you give all this information and you do it in a fun way where she's a fan of this mythology and you have her doing it it makes all the the info dumpy stuff awesome so just if you want to write an audio drama make sure she's in it <laughs> yeah. we you know it was a learning curve but we're, yeah you know uh, I'm a filmmaker who's uh, just recently last year moved over to producing audio uh, dramas awesome. and, and my big takeaway from it is like wow this is so much easier and funner like in easier in a way there's less steps oh yeah there's just so many less steps it's like I could put something that I wrote and it's more immediate to get it to to take like farm to table much more yes. quicker and how's that experience been like it's working on this so much more accessible as a creator you get to do stuff like when, when you want to make a film or a television show you really do like you have to have a lot of money and you have to have all these moving parts and it takes forever and this like it's it's audio and you have your actors and if you can just get those two things in there and then have Casey Wayland who is also our co-director and producer who did all of the sound design he and his and team his did. team were they were incredible they did the Dolby Atlas version of it they, we were in a Dolby Atmos stage mixing like they were incredible so you have that that department who steps up and posts and it, it just it's a, it's a much more accessible and I love it yeah. especially if like you miss something it's like oh we missed a line it's yeah. like the end of it's like, okay get everybody here it's just like you gotta figure out this logistics it's like hey can you go say that real yeah. quickly yeah. yeah so much better it's so much yeah. better <laughs> and the studio experience with everybody just there looking at each other. Recorded all together. Yeah. yeah. Do you ever That's refer right. back to old radio dramas? You know, I mean, it's kind of invented the medium back then. I yeah. love. I, I. Go ahead. No, I love old radio dramas. And actually, I participated in, uh, in LA, there's this thing called the Thrilling Adventure Hour. Yes. Yeah. And they were doing all this amazing audio drama stuff. We had, there was a sound effects person and music and amazing one, actors. The yeah. And like, it was incredible. And uh, so I, I just, I've always loved the medium. I love listening to audiobooks. I love podcasts. I, 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 this is a world I like playing in. Yeah. I mean, for me, it's the immersion. Yeah. You know, the I, I mean, I love audiobooks, but to do a, an original series like this, um, it's the total original immersion. You close your eyes. Slayers. Yes. The Audible Original <laughs> Podcast. Slayers, a Buffyverse story. <laughs> um, but. 
the immersion of it and the ability to feel like you're there with these characters. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, every fan of this world would love to be there in the middle of these characters. And I really feel like this audio experience does that in a way that television can't. It's so intimate. You, you listen to it on a headset, headphones. Um, it's like, you know, Spike is narrating the opening to you in your head. Like, you know, it's right here whispering in your ear. And that's very intimate and, and puts you as an audience, as an audience member and listener, into the drama. If you close your eyes, it's like it's happening around you. You can be in it, which you can't do with film and TV. Film and TV, you're, you're watching, you're not a participant. Right? Um, you really put together a great cast. Um, and, but the, and the Buffy verse is just full of amazing characters. How do you decide which characters to bring into the story? <laughs> Two ways. Go ahead. Who can Amber call? <laughs> yeah. Whose phone number did I have? Uh, and who, who did we love? Really, it's like these are all people I adore. Who I genuinely am happy to see <laughs> when the, we're at a convention together. I'm like hugs, real. Oh, I love you guys, and it's real. You know, it's not bullshit. It's actually like you care about each other. It's you know, for me. It's there. There are these personal relationships that Amber has, but that I also have. Most of these cast members I've known for a long time. Um, but then also, which characters did we feel like in our hearts needed to be here? Who did we want to, you know, see take another bow, give another opportunity yeah. to shine? And uh, and again, like m the best example for that is uh, is James Leary as Clem. You know, Clem was in eight episodes for a total of like hardly any minutes, but everybody loved him, including me. And I've known him for a really long time. And immediately I said, we need this comic relief sidekick character to be in this story and it's got to be Clem because I know in my head how we can present him in a way that will make him beloved even more than he already has been. So it's that sort of thing combined and then uh, not bringing him back but adding uh, Indira to the story was it's like okay we have to have uh, a character who's going to bring us in a young slayer who's going to bring us into this world um, and uh, and and be a fan and, and and share that fandom with the people who are listening um, and yeah. And really, I just I also wanted to like do a, a quasi you know makeout scene with uh, Julia Landau. I mean, who doesn't want to like look across at this incredible like like consummate genius performer in a room and she's like, I'm going to do naughty things to you. It's <laughs> a little hot. A little, um, you know. it made, honestly, it made everybody in the room uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> we were all like, oh, this is just, can no, you... No, selfishly, I wanted to work with her. I wanted to work with Charisma. Like, these are people that I yeah. never... Really Making Charisma together. the yeah. Slayer yeah. was, was very key for what we wanted to do from the yeah. beginning. Yeah. All right, we're going to move table. Thank you. Thank you. The one season, like how, how many episodes? Right? Nine episodes, Nine. eight hours. <laughs> I got some good shots of you. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank you.